what Valentine's Day card should I get for my boyfriend? There are so many. This one is kind of cute. It has a puppy. And Jordan loves puppies. Oh yeah, this card is adorable. Just need to get an envelope. And I think I'm gonna get him those sweetheart candies. Those are so yummy. Wow, there's so much Valentine's Day candy. I'm kind of on a tight budget, so it has to be a dollar. Perfect, a little box of sweethearts. Now I can go pay. ALT girl! Oh, it's Neon. Hey girl. Hey, what are you getting? Oh, I'm getting something for my boyfriend Jordan. Oh, it must be nice. It's my first year having a boyfriend for Valentine's Day, so it's pretty special. Do you have a Valentine? Um, no, not really. Forever alone, am I right? Oh, come on, Neon. I'm probably gonna just like get some candy for my little sister and stuff. Okay, I'll see you at school. Bye. Valentine's Day really stinks. Okay, this little bunny is so cute. I'm gonna get it for my Valentine. Whoa, Daddy, look at the Valentine's Day section. It looks amazing. Look at all the cute teddy bears, cards, and my favorite, candy. Okay, Goldie, remember, we're here on a mission. I have to get your mom something for Valentine's Day. You need to get those little cards for your class. And, and I want to get a special Valentine's gift for my crush, Punk Boy. Goldie, you're too young to have a crush on Punk Boy. Uh-uh. Oh, brother. All right, let's go. Daddy, Punk Boy is my bestest friend ever. Oh, look here. They have all these beautiful flowers and chocolate-covered strawberries. That's kind of fancy. And look at the fancy necklace that says love. That's real pretty for mommy. Yeah, that is kind of nice. I think she would like that. Daddy, which cards should I get for my class? The little cute puppy valentines? Or the unicorn ones? They come with some sort of like little gel thingies. Uh, I don't know, whatever you think. Uh, I'll go with the unicorn. Just put the other one back, okay? Oh, snap! They also have Frozen 2 Valentine cards. Oh, now I'm even more confused than before. Into the unknown! Alright guys, I need to get Swag a really nice Valentine's Day present. I was thinking a cute little teddy bear, some candy, flowers. Whoa, going all out, I see. I really want to impress her. I'm going to get something for Dollface and Lady Diva. Alright, player. Too bad these girls don't even know who you are. I know, but a Valentine's Day is my chance. How about you, Jason? I don't know, I'm not really into this whole Valentine's Day thing. Not my vibe. Whoa, they have so many teddy bears. All right, guys, help me out. Which teddy should I buy for swag? This guy or this guy? This one kind of looks sad. Poor little guy. Yeah, you're right. I'll get the other one. She told me she really likes pink roses. Uh, excuse me, where can I find pink roses? Hi, they're right behind you. Oh, this bouquet is pretty. Sorry. Sorry about that. These flowers are perfect for swag. Uh, I think I should get her some chocolates. I think I'm gonna get a card for Neonlicious. I just don't want the guys to see and start making fun of me about it. Mm, let's take a look. I think I'm gonna give Dollface one single rose. It's so romantic. Oh, these are your mom's favorite chocolates. Yes, the last one. Score! Daddy, can you help me get those chocolates from up there? Eh, 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 I can't reach. All right. Uh, oh, I need a card for your mom. I almost forgot. This one with a little kitty and it says, you are perfect. You know, because kitties go purr. You should get that one. Oh, that is really funny, Goldie. Good job. Even though your mom's allergic to cats. <laughs> Let me put it in the basket. I think we need some flowers and we're good to go. Look at these beautiful roses, Daddy. Mommy would love them. I wonder if I will get some flowers for Valentine's Day. Do you think Lady Dio would like this pillow? It's hilarious. It's like a big hug. It's like when you're sad and you need a hug. The pillow has arms and it can hug you. <laughs> Sweet. You should totally get it. You guys are so corny. I'm gonna get this card. It's not too much. 
And I'll grab one of these chocolates. Let me go pay before everybody sees me. Hey, can you ring me up here real quick? There's a long line. Yeah, sure. Let me move all these balloons out of the way. They made me blow up like 500 balloons for Valentine's Day. And nobody's even buying them. Uh, just the card and the candy. Okay, sweetheart, a Hershey case and a card. That's gonna be $7.99. Here you go. Thank you. Okay, my friends are still in line. Nobody will know. Put it in my bag. Thanks, Candylicious. Next in line. Uh, hi, yes, here you go. Okay, flowers. Uh, I gotta type that in. Flowers, okay. Greeting card. And don't forget to ring the special thing for my valentine. <laughs> okay, I won't. And the big box of sweeties. Okay, your total is $32.99. Thank you, here you go. The next day. And the day begins. All everyone can talk about is what they got for Valentine's Day. Don't you guys just love Valentine's Day? I got some chocolates and flowers from my boyfriend. My boyfriend doesn't go to the school, but I still got a card and candy from Neonlicious. Well, I had a pleasant surprise waiting for me when I came to school. In my locker, I found this adorable little teddy bear, a rose, and some sweetheart candies. And I found this adorable pillow from a guy named Justin. Really? A guy named Justin sent these to me too. Did the same guy try to make us his valentine? Oh snap, I didn't know Dollface and Lady Diva had class together. Way to go, Justin. Oh, now they think I'm just a player. Even the teachers. The principal and the music teacher? Who would have thought? I need to put the stuff I bought for Neonlicious in her locker before she comes. I'm kind of early, so I'll try to do it real quick. I can probably put the car right through the cracks. Got the card in. Now I just have to put the candy in. <clears throat> Got it. Good morning, Mr. and Mrs. PhD. Good morning, Neon. Happy Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's Day. Ah, oh, there's swag over there. Hey, bestie. Happy Valentine's Day. Swag. Is that for me? Of course. Valentine's Day is not only about love, it's about friendship too. You're the best. Are those chocolate covered strawberries? I know they're your favorite. Aw, thanks, bestie. I like your new cheerleading outfit. Thanks. Our team kind of copied the Pom Pom Divas cheerleading outfits, but don't tell anyone. <laughs> I won't. I love this pillow, it's so cozy. And I am totally gonna have a chocolate covered strawberry right now. Oh, and this is for you, of course. Thanks. <gasps> oh, there goes Cameron. I wonder if he got me something for Valentine's Day. Because I totally did. Let me touch up my lipstick real quick. Play it cool, Swag. Hey, Swag. Happy Valentine's Day. <gasps> oh, Cameron. Oh, I love it. <gasps> that is the cutest little teddy bear ever. And the flowers, card, and chocolates for my girl. That is the cutest little teddy bear ever. I'm gonna sleep with it every single night. I'm glad you liked it. Happy Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's Day. The bell's about to ring. I need my biology book. Oh, I almost forgot. I got you something too. Thank you, those are my favorite. Huh? What is this? A card, a box of sweethearts, and a giant Hershey kiss. Mm, there's no name on the candy. Let me open up the card. Oh, let's see what the card says. Huh? <gasps> it's from Jason. Oh, I didn't get him anything. Oh, I better get my book. It's the first time I get anything from a boy on Valentine's Day. <gasps> oh, Valentine's doesn't stink after all. I can't wait till we pass our Valentine's. I got everyone these cute little puppy ones. Yeah, I got Paw Patrol ones. Miss Barbie gave everybody these sweetheart candies. Yes, these are my favorite. Mmm, mine too. Well, I'm eating them all already. Hello, Punk Boy. Happy Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's Day, Goldie. Punk Boy, do you want a kiss? A, a kiss? Um, 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 okay. 
Here you go. Oh, ha, a Hershey chocolate kiss, of course. <laughs> Thanks, Goldie. You're silly. And that my daddy ended up letting me buy one for everyone in the class. A kiss for you, Twan. Kiss for you. Kiss for you. Thanks, Thanks Goldie. Goldie. Happy Valentine's Day, everybody. Yum, this Hershey kiss is ginormous. Mm-mm-mm. This wedding dress is beautiful, but I don't know if it's my style. Wedding dress shopping is harder than I thought. <sighs> Carl, you can't chew gum here at the bridal shop. You can get it on one of the dresses. That's true, Carl. If you get your gum on one of the dresses, you're going to be in big, big trouble. Fine. Ew, did you just swallow the gum? What else could I have done? Can't believe Dazzle is all grown up. <laughs> I can't believe my little girl is all grown up and getting married. <laughs> I know, Mom. I can't believe Dazzle's getting married either. Why is everyone crying? Aren't weddings supposed to be like happy? Uh huh. So why is mom like a snot fest? She keeps crying and blowing her nose so loud. It kind of yucks. It is happy moment, Carl. It's just emotional. What do I have to do with this whole wedding dress shopping, mom? This is so boring. Because you're part of the wedding. I just want to go home and play Minecraft. Maid of honor, I need your help. Someone has to help me with the dresses. Neonlicious, that means you. Come on, little sister. You have to help me choose a perfect wedding dress. Oh, yeah, sorry, Dassel. She's kind of becoming a bride, Scylla. <laughs> <laughs> Let me know if you want to try on any of her wedding dresses. The dressing room is right over here. We have some bridal magazines, some purses, some sample cakes, our dress of the month, some bouquets, and of course, some beautiful crowns and crystal presents. And if you guys have some pets at home, we have special outfits for your big day for them. Thank you so much, and I will. I need to try on at least 20 dresses before finding the perfect dress and saying yes to the dress. Come on, Neon, I need you to hold all the dresses. Neonlicious, you're my maid of honor. You need to make sure that everything is perfect for the wedding. <sighs> it's a big responsibility. Why are those cats dressed up like that? That's weird. Some people dress up their pets for their weddings. There is no way I'm dressing up in fancy clothes for this wedding. No way. I'm going to wear a pretty dress because I'm going to be the flower girl. And I get to throw flowers around before Dazzle comes in the wedding. Count me out. I am not going to wear a tuxedo. I will not wear a tuxedo. No way, no how, no chance. Here you go, Carl. Time to try on your outfit. Oh, I can't believe they're making me wear a tuxedo. Carl, you look so amazing. You look really nice, Carl. I do look kind of swaggy. So what is this ring bearer thing? What, it, what in the world is that? Carl, you have a really important job. Your job is to walk down the aisle with this little pillow carrying the wedding rings. Aren't like the rings a big part of the wedding? They sure are, and you're in charge. That, that's a big responsibility. I'm, I'm not even that responsible. Well, we all have to be there for Dazzle, and that's your job. Now you can practice carrying this pillow. Here. OMG, this is heavy! What if I balance it on my head? A ring bear? Why would anybody trust Carl with the rings? I don't understand. Neon says I need your help! I'm coming, Dazzle. Look at all the pretty bouquets. I just love weddings. Oh, look at all these tiaras and crowns and jewelry. Okay, Neon, I want to try on this dress and this one, this one, this one, this one. Whoa, a little help here. There's all these like cakes just hanging around. They look delicious. 
What if I just try the frosting real quick? It won't hurt. I'll do it from the back. Carl, those cakes are not real. They're made out of wax. Pit, pit, pit. Ew, pit. That will pit disgusting. Okay, everyone, the time has come. I'm going to be trying on all these beautiful dresses. Okay, what do you guys think about this dress? It's beautiful. You look like a princess. It's gorgeous, sweetheart. What about this dress? This is way more my style, don't you think? This is really pretty too, sister. I don't know, they all look great. How will I ever decide? Okay, I have a couple more to try on. When are we done, Mom? I want to go home. Carl, we need to help your sister find her perfect dress. Neon Cutie, that will be your flower girl dress. Oh, it's so pretty. Thank you. I'll try it on. Okay, how about this one? Um, it's not my favorite. Why not? It's so pretty and different. Yeah, I mean, if you like it, but I think the other ones look better. Oh, you hate it? <laughs> no, no, Dazzle. I, I didn't say I hated it, sister. I just think the other ones were much, I don't know, prettier. <laughs> Fine. Yeah, she's totally becoming a bride, Scylla. I heard that, Neolicious. Okay, what do you guys think about this one? It's gorgeous. It's beautiful, Dazzle. It's so pretty. Okay, I think it's between this one and the first one. Finally, we're getting somewhere. I just want to go home already. Oh. Oh, Neon Cutie, your flower girl dress looks so cute. Okay, guys, I think this is it. I'm saying yes to the dress. It looks beautiful, Dazzle. How about these earrings? Oh, they're perfect. I love them. I love them. Dazzle, the only thing left is for you to choose the bouquet that you're going to throw at the end of the ceremony. Oh, this one is just beautiful. I want this one. Wonderful choice. Okay. Cake check. Flowers check. More flowers. The sitting areas. Red carpet. Neon cutie! Yes, Neon. Okay, so you're all ready to be a flower girl, right? Remember what I told you? You need to walk down this red carpet and then just sprinkle flowers around and smile. But I'm really nervous. Everyone's going to be looking at me. Of course they are. You are the flower girl and you need to look cute and sweet. But you know, I don't like when people stare at me. You know, I get stage fright. Neon cutie, this is not the same as a stage. You just have to walk, smile, and throw little flowers. I don't think I can do it. I feel nauseous. Oh, great. And where's Carl? He should already be here. I'm here. Carl, those are not the shoes we set out for you. I know, but those other her shoes were like hurting, and I like these better. These are much more comfy. Ugh, fine, whatever. Where are the rings? And the pillow I gave you. Um, uh, the pillow's right over there. Here's a pillow, Neonlicious. Carl, where are the rings? You asked me to bring the pillow. You didn't say anything about the rings. Carl, are you trying to tell me that you lost the wedding bands? I didn't lose them. I put them somewhere. Wait a second. Anyway, who, who had the great idea of giving me the rings? Oh, great. Wait till Dazzle finds out about this. Her wedding is ruined. Oh, wow! This is beautiful! Neonlicious, everything looks amazing! Mom, we have a problem! What? Carl! Carl lost the rings! I am the worst maid of honor in the world! Oh, no, no, sweetheart, don't worry! Your dad has the rings! I could not trust your little brother with the rings! Now, the guests should be arriving soon! And the ceremony should be starting! Sorry for the confusion. Here are the rings. Okay, I promise I'll be responsible now. I promise. No more kidding around. Hey, Carl, looking good. They got you wearing a tux, too. Yeah, and I guess you could say I'm kind of excited to have a brother. Me too, little buddy. High five. Okay, Dazzle, this is it. Daddy, you look so nice, all dressed up. Okay, Neon Cutie, you can do this. Do it for Dazzle. Okay, 
here she comes. We are gathered here today to celebrate the union of Dazzle and Jeffrey. Dazzle, do you take Jeffrey as your husband? I do. Jeffrey, do you take Dazzle as your wedded wife? I do. Jeffrey, you may kiss your bride. Ew! Finally, it's time for some cake! Here you go, Carl. You deserve a really big piece. Mmm! This cake is delicious! Mmm! Mmm! <laughs> to get up already? <sighs> oh my goodness! Today is Valentine's Day! I can't wait! Oh, I need to text all of my friends. And now, I can make a delicious Valentine's breakfast for my sisters. I almost forgot to turn off my emoji lights. Do you guys like them? I'm gonna use some heart plates for breakfast just to get into the Valentine's Day spirit. And breakfast is served. Girls, breakfast is ready! And it looks so good! Hi Barbie, I'm so sorry. I'm running super late. I won't be able to have breakfast. So I gotta go. But I made you guys special breakfast pancakes and heart shaped plates. It's okay. I have a Valentine's Day gift for you, Skipper. <gasps> My favorite chocolates? Of course. Thanks, Barbie. I'll take them on the bus. Happy Valentine's Day, you guys. See you later. Bye, Skipper. Have a good day. Bye. How about you, Stacy? I actually don't have that much time to eat breakfast, but I will take this yummy croissant. Hey, that's mine. I'm going to meet up with my friends to have Valentine's breakfast in the school cafeteria. Well, I have your chocolates. Thank you so much, Barbie. I'm not going to take them with me because I won't have any chocolates left over if I do, but can you please put them in my room? Of course. Well, I don't want to miss a school bus, so I will see you guys later. Bye, Stacy. Well, Chelsea, it's just you and I. Cool, but I haven't finished filling out my Valentine's for my classmates. We'll eat breakfast and then you can do it. Okay. Whoa, everything looks so good, Barbie. Thanks. Enjoy! The girls really missed out on this yummy breakfast. Done! Um, I think I got everyone on my list. Oh no, I almost forgot the new girl, Diana. That would be so bad if I didn't give her a Valentine's Day card. Okay, dear Diana, love Chelsea. Perfect, all ready. I love handing out little Valentine's Day cards for all of my friends. We're gonna do it after our party. So I think I'm all ready. Oh wow Chelsea, your Valentine's look really good. You did a great job. Barbie, Layla's mom's gonna take me to school today. Is that okay? Yes, of course. But don't forget about the cake I baked for your Valentine's Day party at school. I worked on it all night long. Thank you so much! I made my favorite buttercream frosting. How does it look? It looks amazing! I'm gonna put it in a little box for you, okay? So pack up your backpack and get ready. Here you go. Have a nice day, Chelsea. 
Okay, so now I need to get dressed for my date with Ken. What am I gonna wear? Ugh. I feel like I have so many clothes, but I have nothing to wear. Mm, maybe I'll wear something pink or red to be really festive for the holiday. Um, I don't know. <sighs> no, not this one. This one is too casual, and this one is way too shiny. Mm, maybe this one. Yeah, I think this will do. It's perfect. Now to do my hair and my makeup, and I am all ready. <laughs> Hey Barbie, happy Valentine's Day. Oh Ken, wow. That is the cutest teddy bear ever. It was the biggest one in the store. Thank you so much. Happy Valentine's Day to you. Well, that's not all. I also got a gift for you. A gift? But a teddy bear and flowers is more than enough. I wanted to get you something else. Well, I got you your favorite chocolates. Yes, they are my absolute favorite. The flowers are beautiful. Thank you so much. I'm going to put them in water. And this little teddy bear is so snuggly. I'm going to put it on my bed. Now open your gift. I wonder what it's going to be. I really hope you like it. <gasps> this is beautiful, Ken. Thank you so much. I have reservations to one of the best restaurants. I can't wait. Oh, wow, Ken, this place is beautiful. And it's the best restaurant in town. Hello, welcome. Do you have a reservation? Uh, yes, under Ken. Of course. Please, this is your table. Take a seat. Please, sit, Barbie. Thank you, Ken. You're always a gentleman. They say the food here is amazing and the portions are huge. Can I get you guys started with something to drink? I'll have some water. Me too. And can I tell you guys the specials for today? Yeah. Well, we have the chef special. We have a lobster and seafood. And also we have a filet mignon with some asparagus and mushrooms. Sounds really good. I'll take it. Me too. Wonderful. I'll be right back with your order. <laughs> Enjoy. This soup is going to be delicious. A little bit more salt. Um, excuse me, chef. We need to have the lobster special and the filet mignon, please. Of course. I'll be right on it. <laughs> lobster dish is ready. Wow, that's a really big dish. Of course, it's our specialty. It's heavy, be careful. Okay, I hope I don't drop it. Thank you. Ready. Filet mignon is also ready. And this one is even heavier, so be careful. It smells delicious. Oh, yes, of course. Oh, wow, that is a heavy dish. Oh, please don't drop this. Please don't drop this. That would be so embarrassing. I'll be taking the candlesticks out of the way because the dishes are very large. If you don't mind. Sir, here is your lobster feast. Whoa, that is huge. Thanks. Looks amazing. And miss, here is your filet mignon. Enjoy. Thank you very much. Wow, everything looks delicious, Ken. It sure does. Thank you for always being so thoughtful. You're the best boyfriend ever. You deserve it, Barbie. This and much more. Hi guys, in today's video we're featuring a new playset from Barbie, chef and waiter. Super cool, we get a doll dressed like a waiter and a doll dressed like a chef. And not only that, but also some really cool kitchen accessories. I love how these dolls have so much detail and one of them is even a Kirby doll. Let's get it out of the box. 
Chef and waiters work together to cook and present meals to people all over the world. And here is our waiter doll. She's so pretty. I love her hair. I don't have any doll that looks like this. She's got like a little side part and then half of it down. Super pretty. She's got, it's all one piece but a white shirt with a red apron, a little tie. And on her apron she has like a little notepad where she takes the orders. And some pens on the other side. She's got some black pants and black shoes. And here is our chef doll. She's got a plastic chef hat. Her hair is in a side ponytail. A little chef shirt with some red pants. And I love how they made this doll a curvy doll. As you can see, this one's curvy and the waitress is an actual original size doll. We also get this little pot and inside it's like some tomato soup and we have a spoon. We also get this little tray and a little plate with some sort of soup. And it attaches to the doll's little hand. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. These dolls are really, really fun. So many stories to create with them. Let me know down in the comments if you want to see more videos like this one. And we'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye for now.